Hey guys, what's up? So, today's video, as you saw, we're installing these Brom seats back into my charger. And I say back because I did install them last year. Um, I think it might have been in October. So they were only in the car for like a month or two. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw some pictures of them. Might have been late uh, September. Anyways, <clears throat> gonna install them back. So, I already did this, so... I think I remember what I had to do, which will make this better for you guys. Um, so I have my tools all laid out back here. So every seat is probably different, so the tools you need might be a little different, but if you're installing these Brom seats, I bought them off of France, so I'm not sure the exact name of them, but if you buy these, this is, this is definitely what you'll need. You need a 19, I got two of them. One's like a ratcheting one, one's a normal one, you'll see why. You need a T50, if I remember correctly, for the seat belt bolt. <clears throat> um, if this is the first time you're doing it, you're either going to need a really strong impact or a heat gun for the seat belt bolt. It, um, it does have Loctite on it from the factory, so that's why you need the strong impact gun or a heat gun. I had to use a heat gun because my impact... It's not strong enough, but whatever. You don't really need it anymore. This would be more than enough. And some spacers, and I got seat belts. Uh, since I don't have a harness, I need to reinstall seat belts, so I got that in here. Got the bolts. Uh, again, the friend I bought them off made these spacers, so I don't know exactly what's needed but he made these and I'm very thankful for them because without them the seats definitely sit way too low. So you either need spacers, fixed spacers or there is an adjustable um, riser I think is what it's called that you can buy at Summit or I'm sure off any other part. Um, watch out for the dog. I do already have the brackets as I said installed. That was uh, that wasn't too bad. Oops. That wasn't too bad of an install, so, but I can't show you guys that. However, um, I only have three bolts, so it seems to have been enough for last year because you'd have to drill another one, another hole into it, and I might be selling these next year, so I don't really want to spend the money, not spend the money, spend the time on drilling them if someone else is going to buy them and then they don't need them, so it's probably next person's fault or problem if I decide to keep them another year or more I'll figure that out but yeah anyways until then I got a oh man try a blank extension just in case and Duffy will be helpful for the seatbelt bolt just because it's location screwdriver to help unlatch all the connections and uh, that's basically it so let's go get started on the passenger side. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, I'm starting on the passenger side. Move it all the way up. Obviously to give you easy access to this. And then you're gonna wanna remove this. This thing just kinda pulls out. Man, everything's freaking hurting me, but there's no clips. You just have to slide it out. Just goes in like this. And you just pull it out. So that's first things first. And then, as you can see, I severely struggled, and I almost stripped out that bolt. It's pretty, it's like a second away from being stripped out. So, don't make my mistake, get a really, really strong impact breaker bar. Could have used that too, but I didn't have one. Or, get a heat gun. Heat it up hot enough so that the Loctite starts to loosen up, and then you hit it with the impact and it just comes right off. Hopefully, that's what's about to happen here. Or we have another repeat of last year. Whoop! So basically this thing sucks. <clears throat> I had to buy a breaker bar and I did the steering wheel. So I went and got that, and uh, I loosened it right up, and I took it up. Can't see 
Now you can see it in the camera better than in person right now. But you can see that blue stuff. That's some kind of OEM Loctite. And again, there's my almost strip bolt. So, again, don't make this a mistake I did. Go get yourself a breaker bar or something. But now, now then that's loose. So the next thing you gotta do, is there are four of that. I actually need to go get that piece. Those sockets. All right, so we're back in the back. So don't mind my Gobi strip light thing there. Um, oh yeah, so the, it is called an E Torx. Let's see if I can get this stupid thing to focus on it. No. Yeah. All right, whatever. E12 Torx, but I'm pretty sure is what they're called. Oh, I gotta set it out of zone. But E12 is what you need. Stick it right in there. And then that guy just comes right out. So there's one here, and then there's two up front as well. So you're going to remove all those four. And we move on to the next step. Alright, so for the front ones, I do recommend using a handheld ratchet. It's a little close. At least with the tool I have, the power tool I have, it was a little close. I couldn't get to it. So then for me, all I have are these two connections. I don't know if anyone else has others, but there's this little tab guy. Press down, release it. Press down, release it. Those two, and then there's also that seat belt. One, but take that out of the car easily. This guy. If you're gonna reuse your seat belt, which like I said, I will, because I'm not putting a harness bar in here. Still drive this, uh, not any, not every day anymore since I got myself a Jetta. <clears throat> but um, still put people in the back, so no harness for me. So I'll show you guys that. But basically, this guy. So this is something you can do yourself. I just took it out. Um, recommend reclining the seat a little bit forward, so it's about halfway. And I'd also recommend cleaning it while you're here, but I'm getting it detailed next week. What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Vacuuming it and whatnot, you know, while it's here, but I'm getting it detailed next week, so whatever. So let me go back over here. Okay, so there's this guy. It's an awkward angle, but same thing. Little latch here. I'm just gonna pull. And the other guy is actually one of these things. I'm just gonna release that orange tab, pop that up using your flat head. Yeah, we're not doing that with finger. Pop that up with your flat head, remove that. So if I remember correctly, it should be the same size as the T50. And uh, that's basically it. These other connections you do not have to move. I'm pretty sure these are for the heated seats. So you can leave that as is, and that's basically it. So as you can see, we remove this. This is the only connection you have to remove, and then that guy. And this comes out like this, and you're going to go ahead and put it in on this side, more or less like so. Now obviously there's nothing there, so we get a little creative, and these are way too thick, but this is what I have. <coughs> You're going to want to stick that in here basically like that and screw that in. So, like I said, these are definitely way too thick, but this is what I could find. If you want to find something smaller, I literally took this part into my local Ace Hardware, took that in, um, and there we go. This one is in. So the 19 I have, I'm going to take what I said back earlier. The 19 is purely for these guys. One on each side, then you use 17 if you're using the same bolt I am, which I think these are the only ones you can use. 17 is for that. I got one of these, full ratcheting socket, and then I got the other guy wherever I left it. It has that open ended ratcheting system. But basically, all I did was line the holes up, all four of them, put the spacers in, line the holes up, and now we're good. So, uh, I do recommend putting this 
seatbelt and these guys back in before the seats all the way in and then obviously you only have limited mobility nope my wrist hurts you only have limited mobility as far as being able to adjust the seat as you can see it's not too far away but most of my passengers don't move the seat and it's all the way back anyway so that works spark off amazon for mobility and it still opens up sorry so we're good there so we're good there we have a seat belt So now the passenger side's done. We're gonna do the same thing on the driver's side. Um, I have power on the driver's side. So what I do recommend is all the way forward and then kind of wherever it's comfortable. It gives you access to that. Again, heat gun, breaker bar, strong impact. Personally, I think since I've, that is it. Not, since I've done this a few times, a couple times now, uh, Heat gun, breaker bar, then impact. And then I broke some of these clips last year being an idiot. So that doesn't really sit well anymore. But again, that's my fault for being an idiot. And it is what it is. But same thing. That. Take those out. These two guys under. Disconnect underneath. Remove that. Move the seat belt receiver. Uh, put it on the another one, the other seat, and yeah, rinse and repeat. And there's the driver. That took me about a half hour. Uh, yeah, so about a half hour between taking that seat out over there and putting that one in. Pro tip for these spacers, uh, my recommendation, um, if you do it, again, the way mine is set up, line these up with these holes, give them a few turns with your hand, don't, you don't have to tighten them down or anything, just enough so that they're locked in, so you don't bang up those things, uh, I can't see, oh yeah, you can, so you don't bang it up like I did over there, so tighten that down. Put those where they're supposed to go tighten that down a little bit give it a few turns with your hand and then go to the back and put these spacers in again do the same thing um, obviously you'll have to manually adjust the seat front and back to make it work but that way you're not trying to bite with them as much and you don't banging up that paint that's under there as much as i did but that's it guys hope this video helped um, if there's anything I missed, let me know. Uh, these guys are 19s. That's what fits on these T50. These are 19, um, what the hell are these called? Sockets? Whatever. I'm drawing a blank. But, T50, 19s. These guys are 17s. Um, they may or may not, I don't, I don't think they did. But they might come with a bracket. Again, bracket as you can see this is probably like two three inches two inches I'm not good with measuring things these lifted it enough lift the seat up enough so that your viewing oh gosh these are so comfortable your view angle this is where my eyes are is normal otherwise it'd be down here so I, you, I definitely recommend either making spacers yourself or getting the adjustable risers from uh, Summit Again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, try to make it as short as possible, but I don't want to leave any important things out. And uh, again, as always, down in the description below, I'll put a list of all the tools I used. But see you guys in the next video.